Hey everyone, this is Jeff with Creative IT Resources. We're going to discuss VMware Virtual Networks on VMware Workstation. As many of you probably already know, we click Edit, Virtual Network Editor, to bring up the Virtual Network Editor. After a fresh install of VMware Workstation, we get three default networks. We get VMNet 0, which is a bridge network, VMNet 1, which is a host-only network, VMNet 8, which is a NAT network. So let's step through each virtual network, discuss what they are, why to use them, and how to configure each. The first network is a bridge network. A bridge network is one where the guest OS shares the host network adapter and connecting to the physical network. The guest OS uses the same DHCP server, DNS server, and gateway as the host OS. Let's point out right away that the bridge 2 setting is set to automatic. If we go into automatic settings, we'll see a list of all the physical adapters which are available to be bridged. Of course, right now they're all selected. Now we could add a new bridge network by clicking Add Network. However, before we do that, I want to point out we're going to encounter an error that says there are no unbridged host network adapters. Let's continue and we'll find out where that happens. Selected Available Network. VMNet 5 is our new network. Change it to Bridged. And there's our error there is no unbridged host network adapters. Now the point is is that each physical adapter can only be bridged once. We have set this to automatic where we have chosen to select all or use any of the five that are available. To fix this we have to go to our first bridge network, go into automatic settings, and unselect one of the adapters. In this case let's choose the gigabit network connection go back to our new network, select bridged, and now we notice bridge 2 has used or is using gigabit network connection. If we expand this we notice there are no others. However the other option to fix this is we could go to our first bridge network and go to bridge 2 and let's select Centrino for example. Go back to our new network and under bridge 2, we have all four choices which were not selected from the first bridge network. So now we could create multiple bridge networks. Let's go ahead and we'll just leave it with the uh, gigabit network connection. The next network is a host-only network. A host-only virtual network is a private network between the host OS, which is optional, and the guest OS is on the same virtual network. This is not a public network and does not provide access to the outside world, meaning there is no default gateway. We could optionally remove the host OS from this network by selecting or unchecking uh, connect a host virtual adapter to this network. VMware also on the host OS provides DHCP service. We could remove that or add it as well by checking or unchecking this box. For this particular subnet, or network, we can provide a subnet IP range by providing the subnet IP and the net mask. In this case here, we have a Class C network. To adjust the DHCP settings, we click DHCP settings. Here we can configure the start and end for the least IP addresses. We can also set the least times as well. The next network is a NAT network. NAT is short for Network Address Translation. A NAT virtual network is similar to host only with the exception it is not a private network. Similarly to host only we can remove the host OS from this network. We have the DACP service and we have the subnet range which we want to work with for this particular network. We can configure the DHCP settings however we have something new and that's the NAT settings. Here we can configure the gateway because now we can access the public network. This gateway IP address is what's distributed with the DACP. We can also configure that to something different. However, we should note that this is not the same IP address as the host computer. In this particular scenario, the host is dot .1. The gateway is going to be dot .2. We can enable port forwarding by adding a particular port. Let's say, for example, we have a FTP server on our virtual network. Let's create a public port of 10,021. It's TCP. 
we're going to forward that port to 192.168.184.44. We're going to forward it to port 21 of that particular virtual server. Let's just give this a description of FTP. Now that could be any IP, or excuse me, any port that you want to forward. You can allow active FTP. Conversely, you could do passive. You can set the DNS settings, which is important. We can use the default DNS server, or we can specify a DNS server which we might create on this particular network. Let's say 192.168.184.10, and maybe our alternate will be .2, which is the same as our gateway. And we can also make some changes to the NetBIOS timeouts. Now we've configured the NAT, uh, the only NAT network that we can have. A NAT virtual network is ideal for managing a small network where it's truly independent of everything on the physical LAN. For example, a computer network might have a domain controller, DNS server, DACP server, maybe a web server, uh, and some workstations, and all this is assuming that the host OS or host computers slash server has the resources to run all those simultaneously. Hope this helps clarify what a VMware virtual network is and how to use them. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a bunch.